Good evening and welcome to tonight's night prayer. So let's be still. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O oh, Father, that we has begun, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our first reading this evening is taken from John's, the first letter of John, chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast of in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord and was saved from every trouble. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see what the Lord, that the Lord is good. Happy are those that, who take refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our final reading is taken from Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 to 12. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So let us pray for ourselves and for the world, and let us thank God for his goodness. Loving God, we thank you for the wonder and the beauty of your creation that we see all around us. We thank you for the beautiful autumn colours. Help us to care for your creation and help us to care for one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we give you thanks for all who step up to the plate and serve their country in the political sphere. We thank you for all our political leaders and pray that you will continue, you will be with them and guide them through these troubling times. Grant them wisdom and courage to make difficult decisions. Lord, 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we face an uncertain future and head into a second lockdown, we pray for all who are concerned, who are worrying about themselves and loved ones, who are struggling with all the restrictions. We pray that you will comfort them and give them the strength that they need each and every day, helping them to know that they are not alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we give you thanks for our communities, for our families and our friends. We pray that you will be with them during these difficult times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we bring before you all those people on our hearts and on our minds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of holiness, your glory is proclaimed in every age. As we rejoice in the faith of your saints, inspire us to follow their example with boldness and with joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so we gather all our prayers together in the words that Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down to sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks to the, for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look on us kindly and give us peace. Amen. And good night.